is disrespectful to a certain extent because this right here is how a lot of people view little black girls. They a grown adult thought this of a black child and decided to put this in here and they didn't see a problem with it. That's an issue. Oh, as the little kids that are watching me right now, the middle schoolers right now that think they're mature for their age so they can date older, you're not, baby. You're not. Oh. me a bitch make sure to put sensitive in front of it you I guess oh Hey y'all, it's Harriana and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, hello, my name is Harriana and welcome to or welcome back to The Pirate Ship, also known as Harry Hook's Pirate Ship. Always remember, I'm the captain. I have no first mate. You are not the first mate. Get it correct, okay? Hey y'all, my name is Harriana. If you're new here um, and you don't know what I do, I like to make content based off nostalgia, nostalgia and family and children's and why can't I talk today? I like to make content based off nostalgia and family and children's entertainment and all the issues that I find within those spaces. Okay, so this video right here is going to be not only an emotional one, but also a bit of a personal one. So I know a lot of you guys don't like it when I make personal videos, so you know what to do. If you don't like my personal videos, you can easily click off the damn video. It's that simple. Don't be in the comment section complaining. Actually, do complain because if you do complain, that pushes this video out there a lot more. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, today's video is inspired by three black creators that I adore. Um, the first video that inspired this is Yara Zaid's The Day Rue Became Black. Next is Princess Weeks, Milena Pendulums, Breaking Down True Womanhood and Black Girlhood in Media, and Khadija Mose, Are Black Girls Less Innocent, okay? All three of them made videos about the topic that I will be discussing today, and I will have the link to their videos all down below, because they are amazing, okay? All three of those videos are so great. You guys honestly need to go subscribe to them if you're not, okay? Support Black Creators, okay? Anyway, because this problem right here that we are going to be talking about is something that has affected me and many other black girls and other black presenting people. And it's been an issue since we were brought into this world, like since we were born and nothing about it has changed and nothing about it will change unless we begin to speak up about it. And things usually don't start to change unless someone talks about it. So like I said, the sh I'm very stressed right now. I'm very itchy. As you guys can see, I'm breaking out. I'm bloated as hell. I I'm the girl's not good right now, but I needed to push through, make this video. Like I said, this close to quitting my day job. <laughs> so close, okay? But like I said, I refuse to let this video flop because like I said, this problem is not just racism. It's also a problem within the black community ourselves. It's just full on massage noir. Like I said, before we get started, I refuse to let this video flop. I will not allow this video right here to flop, okay? So I want everybody to leave a comment down below on what children's show that you think has good diversity. Simply because I'm also just very curious. Let's see if I agree with you. So now let's go ahead and move on into today's subject matter. We're gonna be talking about Hey Arnold. I love Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold is actually one of my favorite shows ever, like I said. When I talk about media on my channel, I refuse to talk about media that I hate or I dislike. So usually if I am talking about something that I like, I have my critiques about it. That doesn't mean that I hate it or I don't like it, okay? So I love Hey Arnold. And if you are unaware of what Hey Arnold is or what Hey Arnold is about, Hey Arnold is a cartoon about a group of elementary school kids living in the big city. It was on air in the late 90s, early 2000s. They have two movies, one released released in theaters, the other one released on television way, way, way too long, many years later, okay? It's a lot like Peanuts, if that makes sense. It's kind of like um, my generation's Peanuts, if 
that makes sense like the reason why I like peanuts so much in the first place is because it reminds me a lot of hey Arnold in a sense because of the way the kids act and the way the kids talk and their mannerisms and the situations that way we're put in so for the most part if you like hey Arnold you will like peanuts and if you like peanuts you will like hey Arnold so yeah, like I was saying, I went through a Hey Arnold phase when I was about 14 and 15 years old, my freshman year of high school. Like, I would literally come home and just watch it all the time. I used to stay up late during the summertime so I could watch it on Teen Nick when they aired the reruns. And they literally played the same 20 episodes every time. Like... It's like certain episodes of Hey Arnold that I have seen way too many times more than other ones, okay? Like that one where Arnold and Helga went to the restaurant, they play that episode too much. And this episode that we're talking about today, they play it too much also, okay? And I used to stay reading Hey Arnold fan fiction, okay? I didn't read this much, y'all. Don't, don't get on me. I did not read Hey Arnold Smut, but there were some pretty, pretty good stories about the Hey Arnold characters that people wrote about, okay? They're actually pretty, pretty great. That is actually some of the best fan fiction I've read for a fandom, okay? Next to Shake It Up fan fiction. Okay, let's get up back on topic, okay? Back on topic, okay? Now, did Hey Arnold have good diversity? Okay, y'all, it's a 90s show that didn't focus on black people, so of course it wasn't gonna be great. Like, the black girl representation was barely there. And, like, we did have two black girls in the show that recurred often, one being Nadine and Timberly. Now, um, I don't think any of you guys have noticed, but please take a look at Nadine. Arnold's house. Nadine, you can't be serious. You're my best friend. This is very uncool. I'm sorry, I have no choice. I'm putting you on the geek list. Well, Rhonda, you wanted to have a party for only the cool kids. But now that you've crossed everybody off the cool list except yourself, I guess you're the only cool kid left. Oh. Nadine don't look like me. Like, at all. Mm -mm. She don't look like me, okay? Like, and I say like girls that look like Nadine and I say that because there are biracial girls that are half black and they look monoracial like me but girl I say girls that look like Nadine specifically don't get treated the same way girls that don't look like Nadine like me okay because light-skinned black girls with loose curly or lighter hair are seen as more innocent and are treated better than brown skinned girls like me and dark skinned girls with short kinky or curly hair okay so that and just, and just ponder upon that right there okay like Rhonda literally treated Nadine like shit too Nadine is a whole nother topic for another discussion we gonna talk about Nadine one day okay her whole character right there huh and Rhonda whew, I love Rhonda but Rhonda was horrible anyway and then we had Timberly okay Timberly is literally Gerald Johansson the token black kid of the show his little sister and she did nothing she was just there like she she was you know how they always have like the cute little kid character like you know like the maggie simpson that that's literally what timberly was she didn't do much of anything like she was just there as his the little kid character and that's it okay in my opinion i just feel like they didn't really do much of anything with timberly in the first place because of how young she was like she was too young and i found it kind of weird how she was like one of the few characters in this show that aged but like nobody else around her aged for the most part i thought that was a very interesting thing but i feel like part of the reason why they aged her is because they felt like they couldn't do anything with her and then when they did age her they still didn't really do much with her okay so hey arnold was a show that i saw myself in within the characters but none of them really resembled me physically so when we finally get a black girl on this show it's a hot damn mess okay it is a hot damn mess today we are going to be talking about the episode gerald versus jamie o this episode makes me so freaking angry this episode of Trey hey arnold right here truly does bother me there are a lot of episodes about this show that bother me but for the most part this one bothered me a lot because it just felt very personal so what is this episode even about gerald and jamie o are brothers by the way you guys did not know jamie o is his older teenage brother as i mentioned that Gerald also has a little sister named Timberly. Timberly is in this episode. She just didn't do much of anything. Like, she never does. She's just there. Okay, so bro Jamie O and Gerald are having their brotherly feud, as usual, as many siblings do. 
okay we're cool right there so then a little girl named chloe she's not little girl she's a little girl i don't care what nobody says a little black girl named chloe moves in next door and she comes next door and asks gerald could she get a cup of sugar because she's baking something and gerald falls head over heels for her she thinks the girl is really really pretty and he easily catches a crush on her so next thing you know chloe ends up meeting gerald's older brother jamie O, and chloe ends up having a crush on jamie o and not gerald and then because of that she starts hanging out with gerald all the time taking advantage of that crush that he has on her and she is doing that to try to get to jamie o and yeah that's literally the episode the whole entire episode is chloe just throwing herself at this older dude because mind you that chloe is 13 jamie o is about 16 years old jamie o doesn't want her i respect them for that i'm glad that they didn't have him show interest in her because she was younger than him i don't care what nobody says middle schoolers should not be dating high schoolers i don't care what no one says you can fight me on that one right there nope so she started hanging out with gerald all the time to get to jamie o long story short he just keeps rejecting her and the truth comes out and that literally is the episode okay now before we go any further i just want you guys to take a look at chloe for yourself like look at the way she's drawn and if you need to stop, use the brake! Ow! Ow! Hey, watch where you're going. You could have scratched the paint. Sorry. Oh, are you okay, Chloe? Yeah, I'm fine. I think maybe I just need a brake and a helmet. Oh, sure. So, Jamie, I take it you like cars? Yes. I Why is she dressed like that? She's in middle school. Like, why is she wearing a crop top with a mini skirt, a short ass skirt? middle schoolers should not be dressed like that i'm sorry they should not okay she should not be dressed like that at all and she also another thing that really bothered me in this is that she stated she was mature for her age which is something that really does bother me because one you're not mature for your age i don't care how mature a child thinks they are for their age they're not you're 13 you're a kid you're a child you should be talking to other 13 year olds okay not a 16 year old boy okay you're not mature for your age sweetie you're not as much as the little kids that are watching me right now the middle schoolers right now that think they're mature for their age so they can date older you're not baby you're not okay talk to the little kids at your school okay please 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 don't talk to these high school kids y'all do not let these people take advantage of y'all no don't 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 it's not worth it it didn't happen to me, but I know numerous people that went to my school that were in middle school and they talked to high school dudes. It just, it just not, it's just no, don't do it. Okay, so right here is the compilation of what people on Twitter had to say about Chloe in this episode. This little black girl on Hey Arnold Too Fast mission, she 13 checking Gerald, older brother, LOL. LMAO, this little girl on Hey Arnold, fast AF. This girl so fast on Hey Arnold, what the hell? This girl on Hey Arnold being a little fast ass. This girl is fast on Hey Arnold, LMAO. Now, I rewatched this episode of Hey Arnold. That girl using Gerald was fast as a motherfucker watching hey arnold and i am unsure of how i missed the episode where gerald had this raggedy girlfriend chloe who secretly liked his brother jamie o hopefully he won't grow up hating all cartoon black women because of this happening when he was nine lol laughing emoji watching hey arnold chloe was a thought shaking my head this episode of Hey Arnold, where Chloe being a little thought for Jamie Yo and Gerald Blind to see it easily is my favorite episode. Who is this Chloe thoughty on Hey Arnold laughing emoji, dead emoji? Okay, y'all, this is not uh, um, a Twitter thing, but what really hurt me the most with this is that people thought it was okay to call a child a thought. Like, you literally called this little girl a hoe. Like, do you not see the issue? I'm telling y'all, Twitter from like the early days was so ugly. It was so freaking ugly. Anyways, back to our busy schedule programming. Not only did what those people say hurt, 
but this episode really hurts it, it really hurts okay because this is how many people view black girls okay like if i cry i'm not sorry okay because i gen i cried before i made this video and if i cry again i'm not sorry i'm not apologizing for being emotional okay like people love to say black girls like we're fast or we're provocative or we're too grown or we act like adults we're mature for our age simply just for existing like black women in general are always just over sexualized and it begins right at childhood like even when we're babies sometimes like any little thing a black girl does is sexualized in some kind of way like from the way we wear our hair to the way we walk like black girls we were told that we were trying to be grown if we had our hair straightened and then we wore it down okay but white girls literally do that all the time and they're not labeled as grown okay and it's this one weird thing between the black community is that they would tell little black girls to stop twitching when they walk what even is that like that's literally just how we move and you're telling us to stop twitching when we walk no like you literally sexualize every little last thing that we do like and especially if you were a black girl that developed a bit early because i was okay i'll be honest i was it was way worse for you like my friends that were busty like in middle school my bustier friends they would tell me about how they would get cat called when they went out in public with their parents and grown men would cat call them when they were out in public and mind you that we wore uniforms and they would be in their school uniforms it is aware that they are a child and they are still getting cat called by grown ass nasty ass men okay the same thing happened to me like when I was um curvier between the age of 10 and 13 because I did cheerleading gymnastics and dance and then I ended up losing a lot of weight because you know anxiety and depression it happens y'all it happens okay I ended up losing a lot of my curves then it made me really insecure about my body well we're not gonna get there we're gonna get there later that's another topic for another discussion okay like i would literally have grown ass men staring at my butt when i was out with my parents okay like one time i was even at the store with my dad and some random guy took a picture of my butt like no like i literally would be in my school uniform and that would not stop people from over sexualizing me like they didn't care that I was a kid they just saw that I had some type of curve on my body and they took advantage of that it's really freaking disgusting like I said remember we're in uniforms like these men were aware of the fact that I was a child and mind you when I was at middle school my school had this big ass problem when it came to you know the s word harassment okay they had a big problem when it came to that literally me and so many other girls would be having this problem and you want to know exactly what they did they had a meeting with us they literally had a meeting with all of the girls in our grade and they told us that we need to stop provoking the boys from doing what they do to us they literally blamed all of us all of us little black girls for the harassment that we were facing they literally told us that this was our fault what exactly why do y'all feel the need to treat little black girls like this what exactly did we do okay they literally blamed us for being victims in this situation that we were placed in like how dare you tell a little black girl that it's her fault that she got attacked how freaking dare you like no i'm legit angry right now i'm so tired of y'all always having the need to come after black women for literally any little last thing they do it's it, it begins so young okay like my middle school in general had like a really big issue when it came to sexual related activities okay like they always tried to keep stuff like this under wraps and numerous other schools did this too especially like I said schools that had high black women populations they always tried to hide this stuff like it's so frustrating like we were even on the news one time because of something that happened like this like my school was on the news it got that bad to where the news reported on it okay it bothers me so much with this episode okay because I love Hey Arnold is the show perfect no and the reason why this right here bothers me so much is because the little representation that this amazing show had for my kind was awful it was freaking terrible and it's disrespectful to a certain extent because this right here is how a lot of people view 
little black girls. They view them as fast, mean, nasty, too grown, sassy, this, whatever. This is how so many people view black girls. And it's frustrating, okay? Like I said, it's honestly disrespectful too, honestly. This episode is very disrespectful. I'm gonna go there and say that it is, okay? Because Y'all know that art imitates life and life imitates art. We say that all the time here on The Pirate Ship and this is truly how so many people see black girls, okay? Because we know the people that create television are adults. A grown adult thought this of a black child and decided to put this in here and they didn't see a problem with it. That's an issue, okay? Like, if you think black girls are less innocent than white girls, go ahead and say that. And if you believe that black girls are less innocent than white girls, you have a lot of work to do, okay? You need to sit down and think about why you find this a problem and you need to unlearn from it, okay? There is this really great article that I recently just posted it to my Patreon and told them that they should read it before they watch this video. I'm gonna have it linked down below. Yara Zaid, she was the person that brought this article to my attention. Very big shout out to her because that video right there was amazing. You guys need to go watch Yara's video, Princess's video, Khadija's video. Watch all of their videos on the situation because people need to stop over sexualizing little black girls for every little black last thing they do like I'm just getting mad I'm just getting frustrated y'all know that I fight so hard for black women because it feels as if we only have ourselves we literally only have ourselves sometimes and it's not even that because those people like in middle school those people that pulled us aside the black girls and t pulled us aside and told us that we need to stop provoking the guys from doing what they do to us. We're black women. Like, it's an endless cycle of mess, okay? It's an endless cycle of effery, okay? It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Like I said, if you think black girls are less innocent than white girls, you have a lot of work to do. You need to sit down and realize why you think that is wrong and you need to unlearn that behavior because they are not. At the end of the day, these are all children and they need to be treated as such. Stop treating black girls and just girls of color too because I've noticed that this happens with other girls of color like they are adults. They are not. They are children and they need to be treated as such, okay? In conclusion, leave black girls alone and also the bigger conclusion Conclusion, leave black women alone okay this episode of hey arnold broke me okay i first saw this episode when i was a teenager and it really rubbed me the wrong way and seeing the way people spoke about that little girl she was written terribly by the way really just hurts me because people talk that way about black girls all the time and it's painful to see like i'm genuinely just upset right now i'm really upset right now in conclusion, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember to leave black women alone. If you like this video and would like to see more from me and you want to support the channel in any kind of way because y'all please, I'm really trying to quit my day job. I mean it. Please go over there and head on to my Patreon. Lowest tier is $1. Most expensive is 5 I have a lot to offer over there. Many of you guys ask about my Discord server. You can have access to my Discord server if you join my Patreon. So, yeah, if you guys would like to follow me on everything, everything is at Harriana, H-A-R-R-I-Y-A-N-A, because a lot of y'all misspell it. Um, HarianaHook.com if you guys would like to purchase merch, because, yeah, you guys' merch will be getting shipped out soon, okay? I, like I said, I work a day job. It's been stressing me out. You guys will get your things, okay? I promise. I don't scam people at all. Nope. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to support my web show, The Progenies, because we will have way better black girl representation on this show, okay? Because, whoo! The mess that I just went through in this video. Uh -huh. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching and have a good night. Girls, Cherishing power puff, two of a kind. Both wanna save the world before bad times. From towns from Memphis, New York to LA. The power puff girls are just here to stay. They come in through.